Okay, my lovelies, welcome back to another vlog. These are one of my favourite vlogs to do because it's a haul. I've spent money that I should, probably shouldn't have. And we have exciting updates coming very, very soon um, about the house and getting into the house and we can talk about plans for the house and all the rest of it. But this isn't about the house. This is about my lovely sheen haul. I'm sticking with Sheen now. I know we go through this all the time when it's like Shen, Sheen, Sheen, like, and I went through a phase of Shen and then everyone was like, no, it's Sheen. And I was like, oh, okay, it's Sheen. But I was feeling very inspired by Sophia Ritchie, as I'm sure we all are presently. But this dress, I mean, I can never show you properly. Let me just, one second. I feel like, is this any better? Bathroom door? So yeah, it's it's very cute. It's very summery. It's very exposed. There we go. So it's like this crinkle effect. White. Obviously, black bra isn't the best one to go with it, but I was too lazy to change it. And then a little cutout, which is ruched, so you can use the strings to pull it as tight as you want. But I liked it like a little hole, nice and ruched. And then it's actually a half sheer half knot so the dress itself i just so it the actual cloth of it stops here and then the rest of it's all nice and sheer down to the toesies with slippers on because that's how we're rolling today so yeah this is one of my favorites it goes right down to the, um my ankles but i am really short i'm five foot one so and i'm just going to pair everything with slippers, I'm gonna tell you that now. I'm gonna warn you now. Everything is gonna go with slippers today because I didn't buy any shoes. So here we are, last minute, full look of the dress. Full length, little. I thought it would be perfect in Greece. Little Sophia Ritchie moment, will my gold jewelry on looking classy. Okay, lovely, so the next one I really, really love. And I know the reason why I loved it when I bought it is because I already have one extremely similar. So I bought this one from Zara last year. Same little belt band and everything. But this one's just a bit of a lighter pink than this one. Um, and this one was probably about a fraction of the price as this one <laughs> as well. But yeah, it's brighter, it's fine. I think I was meant to get the more peachy toned one than the pink one but it's fine. And then I've also got my eye on a green one similar to this because I love these like floaty like shirt dresses for the summer. Again, very cute, very classy. I think Sophia Ritchie would approve. Just what I'm basing my whole wardrobe on now is what Sophia Ritchie would approve of. Do you know what I mean? But again, paired it with the slippers and I love how floaty it is. Nice and breezy, nice and light, thin fabric, perfect for the summer. And yeah, I'm gonna purchase in many, many colours. <laughs> Clearly, the same colours I already have. And then I think I actually forgot to mention this at the start, but this whole Sheen haul is purposely for Greece. So everything that I've bought is for the summer as well, but everything was aimed at being taken on my Greek holiday. So I was thinking, how cute is this? I was thinking this could be like if we were going for like a nice lunch during the day or like doing touristy bits like going around to local shops or whatever um, or even out for tea. I just thought this was so sweet and cute and I would definitely wear this in England in the summer. So it comes with like this little two stringies attached and then you can tie it basically as tight or as loose as you want and then whatever else and then same goes with the little bow on the side or frills it comes in multiple colors i think like i think this was a hot color and then pink was also a hot color but i just thought this baby blue was too cute and it's got all the frills on the end it needs a good iron don't get me wrong but it's all like and it's blue had to get blue for grease have to but yeah i just thought this was dead sweet and of course, no holiday haul would be right without a airport outfit. So I thought, I saw this cute little like two piece shorts and a jumper. And I know it's gonna be July and we're going to Greece, 
but the flight is at like seven o'clock in the morning so we've got to leave early hours in the morning in England so I thought it's still gonna be freezing cold so I thought I could pop a little like nice like maybe like I don't know sleeveless bodysuit underneath this and then put my shorts on put my jumper on I should be okay during like the flight and everything else because it gets cold up there and then when we land when I'm too hot and sweaty because it's like midday in Greece in July I can take my jumper off and I've still got my little sleeveless bodysuit on with the shorts so I thought that was dead dead cute and it says have a good day and what's that say love never fails and it says it also on the little shorts but they're quite thick, like they're really like well padded, like they're really thick cotton material. But I've also got it in the cream as well. And this one says aesthetic, I think. Oh, oh God. Aestheticism. I've got, I've got dyslexia and then they're trying to do this to me. Aestheticism? Aestheticism. Dunno. Anyway, and it says eternity, and then basically it's the same thing jumper with jumper with the shorts, little drawstring shorts. I think it says the same thing. Oh no, they've not got any racing on. So I didn't know whether to go with the black or the cream for the airport. It's just I'm very, very clumsy, and in the middle of the night, I'm gonna be more clumsy, and I always have a strawberry and lime cider in the airport that's just my airport drink might be prosecco this time because i'm going with the bougie girls but it's more than likely gonna be my strawberry and lime cider and i can spill it down this and be like oh well that's just another thing that beth does or i can go with the red patch on me all day and i feel like when i land in greece this is going to show up sweat more then this is a lot more light and summery than black and black absorbs the heat you can see my dilemma my dilemmas Anywho, I know it was a Greek haul, but I couldn't help myself. I needed more jumpers to throw over my gym outfits, and I know it's getting to summer, but when you're like in the midst of like a who with the drawstrings, like you, you're all like it's not flattering, and when you're all sweaty as well, and you just want to hide your face because I don't go with makeup onto the gym, I don't know who does, but I sweat like mad, and the last thing I need is a complex me mascara going down my face. but. We, I picked up this jumper. This is the back of it. I hope you have the best day ever. With flowers on. It's so cute. And I love little motivational jumpers. And it's got it in little writing on the side on the front. But I love little motivational jumpers. Like happy ones when you're in the gym. Because like you're all looking at each other in the gym. Well you don't. But you brush past each other. And when I see someone with like a motivational jumper on. I'm like oh that's nice. So like I want to be that person that goes oh that's nice. Do you know what I mean? I got this. You know I'll empty out the crap cute little bag like a cosmetics bag it's fabric on the inside though like it's that's not wipeable I don't think so I don't know what to put in this whether I want to put hair products in it or bobbles or sarongs I don't know but this is really really cute it comes with a little ribbon and it's like this padded material blue with the stitched flowers in like this is so cute I can just imagine it sat on the side in Greece like ah and then we have got an array of scrunchies um dark brown like a mauve color not a mauve like a chocolate brown like a i don't know like a lighty brown like a champagne and then a white and then uh, they also came with little mini little mini flower clamps and I just thought to stick them in my hair during the day to keep my little like pieces out the way. I thought these were dead dead sweet. And it goes with the scrunchie colours. And then I also bought some more scrunchies. I got the black ribbed one. I got the white ribbed one. And then I got a satiny pink one which I thought was really cute for like, the beach. Or the pool. Yes. And then I got another one of those head oil massager things. Because I got one for the shower. But I use it to massage the oils into my hair and then I noticed that my hair was going greasy after I'd washed and dried it as well. But I was also scrubbing the shampoo into my hair. 
And then I asked everyone, I was saying, why is my hair going greasy? I've washed it, I've washed the oil out of it, I've double shampooed, I've made sure that I've really exfoliated the scalp. And they said, are you using the same hair scrubber, like the hair exfoliator, as you are for the one that you use for the oil? I said, yeah, I use the same one, scrub the oil in, and then I use the same one to scrub the shampoo in. They said, that you've still got oil on the scrubber. I was like, oh, that makes sense. So I'm going to use one for the oil and then one for the shower. Separate them. So that's what this is about. And then I've got these headbands because I just thought I need new headbands for when I'm doing my makeup because I've only got the one with the, all the pink jewels on. And I'll show you. The classical one, which I still really love. But I just thought to keep my hair up my face. And these, these will also look really nice in Greece. So we've got a little bandeau top on, a satin skirt, and then a little headband. Do you know what I mean? Like little staples. I need to stop saying, do you know what I mean? And then I also picked up, I found these tablet boxes everywhere, but they were really, really expensive. Everywhere else, like boots were charging like 10 quid just for one. I was like, I'm not paying 10 pounds just for a box to hold tablets in. So this is only like 50p off Sheen. And I just thought that's great because it only needs to fit small amounts in it, but because it's new, it's a bit stiff. And it's literally perfect because I can take my Saturday morning vitamins before I go and then it's literally Sunday to Saturday and we're going Saturday to Saturday so that's perfect because then I'll just start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday you know what I mean? it's so good so got one of them and it's small and convenient and compact as well that's not going to take up much room in my suitcase so it's great and then I also got a little head towel <laughs> to dry my hair with because once I've washed my hair the rule is, once you've had a shower and wash your hair in Greece, you need to sit out on the balcony for a little bit, do your makeup, drink your Fanta, and have your Lay's, your crisps, your Lay's crisps. So I thought, well, while my hair's drying in the nice Greek sun-setting sun, I'll wrap it in my little strawberry towel. How cute is that? So I thought it'd be perfect, but I can see it now, because I'm sharing a room with Becky, and I can see it now. She's going to be like, can I borrow your head towel a bit now? For the beach, or again, for the touristy shopping little, might want to go to like the flower market, the fruit market, more than likely the bit of the town where all the coffee is, but you know. I've got a little netted flower beach bag. Look at it. It's dead, it's dead long, it's dead cute though. I think these also come in various different colours, but for me, black was safe. Because again, if anything spills in the bag, black safe. If anything, like... It just matches with outfit that's black. But yeah, it goes like right down to like my hip. Oh no, that's lower than my hip, my thigh. It's dead good though. I just thought I'd throw you sun cream in there, sunglasses, bit of food, and it's all like airy. Ah, it's so cute. But well, that's that for the accessories. And now we're gonna move on to bikinis and sarongs, but I'm not gonna try them on, because one, you're gonna see them all the time in Greece on the Greek vlog, and two, my body is very, very pale at the minute because the English summer sun still hasn't made an appearance. So I can't sunbathe out in the sun right now. It's like currently raining right now as well. And it's coming up to the end of May. Okay, I'm just going to take a little perch, a little pew. So I'm going to start off with the sarongs because these are the fun bits. So I have got, I know I said sarongs, but I've also got these knitted crochet shorts, which I thought were really, really cute. They are see-through, but it's okay because it's just to go over bikinis. You know when you're out in the sun lying about, but a lot of like restaurants and things like that, especially in Greece, they say you need to cover up before you go in to eat or drink or buy anything, which is fair enough. So little throwovers are perfect. Uh, and then I've also got, I'm very excited to wear this one. I've also got... A long green skirt one. So it's ruched at the top here. I'll just throw it on over the shoulders. So it's an elasticated. Ooh, flattering. It's an elasticated waistband. You just got to picture it now, okay? Ignore the jumper. Ignore the shorts. So it goes round your waist. Obviously. And then it's got this nice little like ruchy bit 
of extra material down here and then it splits off at the knee and then basically it goes right down to the floor with my toes yeah basically it's really really good it's super 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 stretchy and it is a little bit see-through but it's not majorly see-through once you put your bikini on and everything else you'll be fine but i love the color of it very summery love it it's so soft as well i don't know why but because it was all ruchy i thought it was going to be a bit tougher the material i don't know why but it's not lighting's gone really bad now i've sat down but anyway and then for i don't know which one i'm planning on wearing for becky's birthday surprise because it's becky's 25th birthday when we're out there and it's like we go on the saturday and it's the monday i think so we've got loads of plans for it but we need to plan our own outfits around becky's birthday plans because she doesn't know what's happening so yeah we're trying to like plan it out in our heads but we've got a little black sheer pearled, pearl embellished sarong that comes to tie off in the side here. And then, where's it go? Look, oh, it's so cute. So I really like that one. I'm just trying to find one that's going to be the lightest, I think, because we're going to be out and about all day, so... And then this one is thick. This one isn't sheer in the slightest. So it's like a black sleeveless dress that again, it splits off on the sides. So in reality, and then the whole thing just splits off. So you know what I mean when I put it like this. It's like the whole thing just splits right down the middle. Which is nice because it's nice and floaty. And again, it goes down to your legs, like your ankles. But it is still really, really thick despite it being really, really floaty and all the rest of it. I'm more just thinking if Greece is particularly windy on one of the days that we're there, um, I can pop that on because Greece does get windy some days and then that wind is really, really cold. Um, I think because you're normally out in the sun all day, it just makes it a bit... Mm. So planning ahead until i'm getting old now when we used to go when we were 18 19 we used to go with sun cream bikinis and you know just no fear and i would like just i packed this one just in case it's a bit windy that day and i packed this one you know just in case i feel a bit bloated that day <laughs> any hoozles this is one of my favorites um this one again is similar to the green one it splits off down the side so you tie it with the little ties at the side and then again it gradually floats down with all the little frills on the side of it it's so cute and it's like this mocha chocolate brown color which is so nice and i think it'll look really nice especially like on the beach with all like all the sand and the stones and the rocks and all the rest of it it'll be like all aesthetically pleasing which is what we enjoy Anyway, moving on to bikinis, which I did not need and purchased because I've got far too many in that drawer and it's going to be a bit of a hard decision on which ones I take and which ones I keep, you know. Look at it all in the background there and all of its glory. A white bikini, bold choice, but we went with it. Um... Du, 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 du. So, wrong way. A little triangle piece with, it's like cotton and then it's got the toweling effect for the ridges. So those ridges are actually like a toweling material, which I thought was really nice. And then same for the bottoms. That is a bikini two piece. I think they're all bikini two pieces to be honest because I wanted to get a one piece, like a full body one. But I've seen this crinkled one on a sauce that I want to get. So we'll get that. And then I think this is the same material one. Yeah, but this one's thank you. If you ever watched Euphoria, it reminds me of 
Maddie a little bit from Euphoria. Like this is the sort of bikini she would wear. Not in that respect, but like the design of it. Okay. Oh, I've messed it up somehow. Any hoozles. It's a triangle bikini again. Same thing. Cotton and then the toweling effect. But it's got little flowers on it. Which I thought was really sweet. And then it's this bit that reminds me of Maddie. The little butterfly embellished bit. Which I'm a bit nervous about because it is metal. And if that gets in direct contact with the sun it's going to get really really hot. And the last thing I want is a burnt outline of a butterfly. It's just like right there. <laughs> Thought that was dead sweet. And then moving on, we have <laughs> me and we've all scanned the pictures of the hotel to an inch that didn't go on the bed to an inch of its life because we want to know what it's like, obviously, and we want to know where we can get the best pictures. And there's an orange tree in the walkway, you know, between the hotel and then it, you've got the little walkway to like the pool and the bar and all the rest of it. Yeah, there's an orange tree. And Becky was going on about how she's got orange Crocs that she's going to take so she can get a picture in her Crocs. And then I purchased an orange bikini solely because I don't have an orange bikini. And I thought this next to the orange tree, like in Greece, with my little orange bikini with the little orange tree, which I thought was dead sweet because if the oranges are like ripe, which I'm sure they will be, it's summer and we're allowed. I'm just going to pick myself an orange after I come out of the hotel on the way to breakfast. I'm going to pick myself an orange, have some oranges on the way to go get my iced coffee or iced frappe because we're in Greece. Love it. And then I've got a lot of pink bikinis. I don't know why I always shit, like stare towards pink, but I do somehow. It just gravitates towards me. I know I've already got like a quite a neon pink swimsuit, so don't ask me why I bought another one, but we did. It's so sweet. And then I bought, I bought a lighter one, same style, just in a baby pink. I don't know how long I think I'm going for. Baby pink. And then this one also comes with a matching coloured sarong. So I was thinking I might wear this one to Becky's birthday because it's a matching set. Do you know what I mean? And then this one's also quite sheer and light what we're going to be doing and I can't tell you what we're going to be doing until the actual Greek vlog because Becky watches these vlogs and nice try honey but I ain't telling you what we're doing and then last bit of the haul last bikini last bit for Greece it won't be the final thing that I buy for Greece because I've already got my eye on everything in ASOS that I want to buy and it's payday next week so I promised myself that that would just be solely on because the house is very, very intimate. In, in, I can't speak today. Intimate. In, 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 is intimate a word? It is. Ready? Imminent. Correct. Said it correctly as well. Um, which means about to happen according to Oxford English Dictionary. Um, so yeah, I promised myself that I'd save all my money for that because we're going to have to buy all sorts of the house for that. But I've already saved loads for my basket and then I've titled it Greece as well. And the things in there I do want to take to Greece. So I just think you only live once. And then we're going to Bali in September as well. So I just said, well, I'll just take all that to Bali. It's not like I'm going to buy new things for Bali. I can't help myself. I love a good summer shop. And then I saw this really, really cute pink bikini with the little flowers on. And I just thought that was dead sweet. So, this one in my basket too. But yeah. That's the last thing for my sheen haul. So. I hope you all enjoyed because I know I enjoyed myself. James, if you ever watch this, I know you don't watch my vlogs, but if you ever do watch this, there is no new clothes here. I wore everything I wore to the Maldives last year, degrees. 
But anywho, so I'm going to leave this vlog here, my lovelies, and I will see you all next week for my next one, which hopefully will reveal all. So I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>